Hi, welcome to Clarkston United Methodist Church's Connections. I'm Angie Shy, the Director of Worship at Clarkston United Methodist Church. And I'm Annette Siminski, the Director of Family Ministries at Clarkston United Methodist Church. We just want to welcome you here and thanks for spending some time with us today. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about our worship services and some upcoming events at our church. But before we do that, we want to talk just briefly about the Flint water crisis. Oftentimes when a crisis occurs, you want to help and you just don't know how to help. Our church has been actively involved in Flint and if you want to help in any way, just, you know, check out our website, give us a call, and uh, we can get you connected. We have partnered with different organizations. We have some feet on the ground in Flint, as well as supported the Flint water crisis in a financial way. We continue to pray for the residents and just a solution to that problem as quickly as possible. So again, if you would like to help, just, just contact us. You can go to our church website at clarkstonumc.org or give us a call. And so um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what the season that we're in right now, which is Lent. We just started with Ash Wednesday. Um, we just started Lent. And before that, we were in, um, in January, we just completed something really fun that's already happened, but I'm still gonna tell you about, because we do it every year, and if it sounds fun to you, we'd like to invite you to join us. Every year in January, we go as a church on Tuesday nights down to Great Lakes Crossing to the um, theater down there, and we see a movie on Tuesday night. We rent the whole theater out, and we see a movie at a discounted rate, and then the following Sunday, we come to church and we um, hear uh, how the pastor and other people discuss about how how we have found faith in that um, movie and in that story. This year we saw the movie Joy, we saw the movie Concussion, we saw um, Norm of the North, yes. and what was the last one we saw? Star, Star Wars. Wars! How can yeah. I forget Star Wars? So we had a lot of fun in January. We do it every year, so join us next year um, in January to see the movies. So we just had something called Ash Wednesday last week, and that is the beginning of a period uh, prior to Easter called Lent. And in Lent, it's a time of preparation for Easter. Um, we do uh, maybe some extra devotional time, reflection, prayer, and you probably know that some people give up something in Lent. Maybe they give up sweets or candy, and, and they see that as a way of sacrifice. Other people add something to their routine, like maybe uh, read a book or an extra um, Bible study time or something like that. Just a way to, to purposefully move toward Easter. And um, we have some special services that will be coming up in March. Easter is March 27th, the last Sunday of the month. But leading up to that, we have some extra special Sundays that I wanna share with you. Um, and before I do that, every Sunday, we have worship at nine and 11. And we'll be, we'll be going through that time in Lent when we're, we're having those Sundays. And I want Annette to share with us about Sunday school and what goes on during Sunday school on Sunday mornings. Great, thanks, Anne. <laughs> yeah, we have worship service every Sunday at 9 and 11. And simultaneously, there is Sunday school going on kind of at the other end of the building. Sunday school is for all children ages three years old all the way through the sixth grade. And we also have a Sunday school program for our seventh through 12th graders called the Youth Breakfast Club. But we'll go back to Sunday school for our three-year-olds through sixth graders. So we meet upstairs at the uh, far end of our building and we start out together in one big room and we have a little miniature church service where we have just very energetic songs and we read scripture and we pray together. And then after that, it's about 15 minutes long the kids will be divided by age group and they go to their Sunday school class. We use a pretty fun curriculum called Deep Blue and the kids, it's very hands-on activity. So the kids will have a Sunday school lesson and occasionally they even get to go to what we call Big People's Church, which is regular worship service. And we have some special things that happen for them in those worship services. So the kids have Sunday school every Sunday at both nine and 11 o'clock in the morning. Between the worship services, we also have a program called Angels in Training. And that is a mission-based program where the kids do mission projects for uh, organizations locally and nationally and even throughout the world. So that is basically being God's hands and feet on this earth. So that is called Angels in Training 
That is every Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, I want to jump a little bit to our Youth Breakfast Club. So this is a program for our 7th through 12th graders. We provide a light breakfast for those kids and they absolutely, they love that, they love the food. And we live stream the worship service into their room. We have an adult facilitator and they have breakfast and they listen to the sermon and then the facilitator helps them break down that sermon so they understand it and make sure you know they can apply it to their to their lives sometimes that's a little hard when you're 12 and 13 or even 16 years old so we have that facilitator there who helps them do that so that is for our 7th through 12th graders again every Sunday at 9 and 11 o'clock so that is our Sunday school every week and um, now I'll talk a little bit about those special services that I mentioned before. One coming up that I'm really particularly excited about will happen on March 13th. On March 13th, we have an elementary choir called the Wesley Choir, and they are second through fifth graders, and they present every um, sort of late winter, early spring, a musical. The musical, um, and you can see a picture there of a previous musical. We have lots and lots of fun. And this choir, if you um, have a child who's in second through fifth grade, if they love to sing and they love being a part, of, would love to be a part of a musical, you should really come check it out and then think about joining the choir next year. This year we're doing a musical called Are We There Yet? And it's the story of Moses and the Hebrew people leaving um, Egypt and uh, going on their journey to the promised land. And so it's really, really fun. It's very humorous and the songs are really cute and funny. So we'll have fun with that on March 13th. Now on March 20th, that's a special Sunday called Palm Sunday. And it's really a, a special service because it, it's at the beginning of Holy Week and it commemorates when Jesus entered Jerusalem. And we uh, have the children come into the church with palm branches and there's a lot of special music. And it's just a really fun uh, worship service. And these services again are all at nine and 11 on Sunday mornings. That beginning of Holy Week um, then goes from the Sunday before for um, Easter, which is Palm Sunday, March 20th, through Easter. And that Holy Week, we have several special services I'd like to invite you to. On Thursday of that week, which is March 24th, we have a 7 p.m. evening service that's very special service, and that service we serve communion. Then the next day is Good Friday, March 25th, and on March 25th, on Good Friday, we have a noon service at noon in the church, and it is a traditional service with special music, and there will be a message, it's very traditional. But at the evening service, which is 7 p.m. on Good Friday, March 25th, the choir, the adult choir, will be presenting uh, a piece of music that they're preparing, and it's a requiem, and it's by John Levitt. Uh, and that's at 7 p.m. And it's, it's a very beautiful piece of music, which is not all dark like you might think of for Good Friday. Some of it is, but it's very, some of it is very upbeat as well and uh, relates to Easter. So I think you would really enjoy it. And then finally, of course, Easter Sunday, March 27th, we have a 9 and 11 service, which will be very special. Um, really the, the most exciting services that we present all year where there will be brass and choir and it'll just be a wonderful, wonderful morning. Um, and I'm going to invite Annette to share with us about something else that's going on on that weekend on Saturday that is very exciting. It is. So we'll, we'll conclude today on this very fun note. We have on Saturday, March 26th at 3 o'clock, a community Easter egg hunt. We stuff over 3,000 plastic eggs with candy and we hide them on our church grounds. And we go outside, rain or shine, or hopefully not snow or hopefully. sleet, but we do go outside regardless of the weather. So come prepared for whatever the weather may be that day. So we have the egg hunt, but in addition to that, we also have a number of crafts that the kids can do inside. Uh, when you get there, when you arrive, you'll come into Fellowship Hall. We will have Easter egg bags that the kids can decorate and use to collect their eggs during the hunt. And we also have a raffle every Easter egg hunt and we will raffle off about five different Easter baskets or prizes. And the kids simply have to color an Easter picture which will be on the table. They can color those pictures. We will then put them in a big, big basket and draw five to seven names out. 
And we also have Easter uh, tattoos, temporary tattoos, of course, set up in the church and the kids can get an egg or a bunny. And of course, it would not be an Easter egg hunt without a ton of food. So we will have cookies and veggie trays and popcorn and drinks. And the most exciting part about that day is our Easter bunny. We will have an Easter bunny there who will go outside with the kids and help them hunt for eggs. And then he will be available for pictures after the egg hunt and those pictures are free. And he will come in, he has this beautiful pink chair that he sits on and your child can sit on the bunny's lap and get Easter pictures with the bunny. This event is open to everybody. It's for our community, it is free and we really encourage you to come, we invite you. We would love to see you at the egg hunt. So. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, fun things planned in the month of March and up through Easter, and we invite you all to do that. If you would like more information about any of these events or any programs or just somehow want to get more information or get connected at our church, we invite you to go to our church website. And I believe that's on the screen right now, and it is clarkstonumc.org. And thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your time. And again, please, if you have any questions, give us a call at the church, go to our church website, and know that you are always welcome. Thank you. Thank you.